Good evening, hello. Um, my name is John Whitaker, and recently I've been more and more involved in making films. Short films, mind, um, but pertinent films. Uh, originally music uh, video types, uh, and then seem to have got more and more carried away with uh, other independent small films. Uh, one of the things I always look into uh, if I'm going to make a film or embark upon something is to try and retain uh, and make the best quality wherever possible. Um, I don't like spending money, I don't think any of us do really, um, but uh, I don't really know the big wide world of film, um, but I know <clears throat> probably a little bit about the independent making of film, uh, and then therefore you, you do have to work on a shoestring, you have to find a, a budget you can work within uh, and use what you can uh, for as little cost as possible, you know, as many of us know, you know, sometimes there's no return no return financially from making what you do to entertain people um, that's the sad factor but then you know should that curb someone being creative should that curb someone from actually not producing something altogether uh, because there isn't a fee and uh, what I've noticed over the years is that creative people they enjoy doing what they're doing so you know I don't think I think money becomes a bit of an irre irrelevance as well at the same time not that people don't want to get paid for what they do, but on the other hand, you know, knowing full well you may not get paid for what you've done, um, you know, a bit of a thankless task sometimes. But you know, if people do watch the things uh, and they get good reviews, etc., I think it's well, well important. Um, so I got involved initially with making some films for a guy called Martin Daniels. He's uh, he's made a number of films now, um, and he's been doing it for some time as well. Um, and that inspired me to work with a particular um, individual called Nikolai uh, Cornham. Uh, and that was back in 2016 when I wanted to make a, a music video. And that became very successful actually. Um, yeah, more, more successful than I thought it was going to be. But, you know, the, the, the moment I saw what the film, you know, how the film progressed and was, was made, um, then I realised, uh, you know, what the potential and what potentials there were. Um, that did cost me money, of course, um, but you know it was it was a fun thing, and I really enjoyed making it and being part of it. Uh, the, the the quality uh, and the editing, directing, etc., by Nick was was superb, and you know I I know this guy's got a natural talent. Um, we bring it forward two years. You know, obviously I had to save a little bit of money. I wanted to do another shoot, another couple of shoots, um, with Nick, and um, again for some music I. I'd done uh, for an hour when I'd come out that year um, and I embarked upon making two black and white films one called Umbilical uh, which features Emma Dark and Martin Daniels and others uh, Richard Markworth as an example who, who's in something very recent I'll bring you up to speed with in a minute uh, and Undertaker um, Nikolai shot both them films directed, edited, so, etc uh, I suppose I go down as producer for story that kind of thing um, and I acted, you know, two different characters uh, in both films. Um, you know, as, as time goes by, you realise you get quite heavily involved in, in many different parts of uh, movie making, and if you've got to put yourself in there, uh, so so be it. Uh, the only thing is, I find that when I'm acting, I want to, I don't want to act the same character. So, I, <laughs> I I won't have a beard, or I will have a beard, or I'll be unshaven, or I'll wear glasses, or I won't wear glasses. Um, you know, I do try and vary it around a little bit, um, but no, put, pulled off some great results in 2018, really impressed, really happy with both them videos and, you know, subsequently they've, they've done really well, um, maybe not so well as Hammer Blows, but they, you know, were picked up, uh, reviewed, uh, got great reviews, uh, and it continued. Uh, last year I wanted to make more, and uh, but I just didn't have the budget. So, uh, so I did. I embarked upon uh, making four videos, I think, last year. Uh, and, uh, you know, we used the services of uh, a, a lady who really gets into music videos, actually, and her name is Yovana uh, Magic, I believe. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Uh, and she shot uh, the first film we did last year in February, uh, and that was called Zombie. And again, I, I like to make films that are basically. Um, always telling a story even if it's in a short short period of time that can be quite difficult sometimes and I do like the silent type movies 
Um, so you know, there's there's no dialogue, no dialogue to string it along and tell you what's going on. You've you've kind of got to make your own mind up, and even even if uh, it's not exactly what um, it was meant to be, it's quite nice that people have different takes sometimes on the videos. Uh, that moved up to uh, the summer of last year, very hot day, and we've shot um, a film called Bed of Nails, a uh, very controversial kind of film, along the lines of The Wicker Man, I suppose, that kind of thing. Uh, that came along, that, you know, I think that worked out really well. And then um, in the latter part of the year, I discovered this uh, location that was begging to be filmed at, uh, and subsequently made a couple of films, one called Hangman, one called Hangman 2. Never done a sequel before, never thought about making a sequel before. Um, but I think we had a lot of fun making them films uh, and uh, the results proved that coming up to speed and getting involved in uh, filming these films, editing and directing myself uh, and doing the photography um, proved that there, there, were, you know, there, are, there are capabilities to enhance your work and, and keep pushing and progressing. And that brings me up to speed. Uh, well, it doesn't really. I've just, uh, just almost forgotten the Richard Markle thing I thought I'd mention. Yeah, Richard, a good friend of mine from since school, um, and he made a film called Carrigan Wakes, uh, which he's going to really release at some point. Um, but he got inspired by making, uh, by me making the films and being in the films, which is you know wonderful. It's admirable to think that someone has, has picked up the noddle to do that because I think that proves a point. You know, this isn't about any individual. I don't think any any one point thing in that they can do it and other people can't. I think it's really nice to know that you can inspire others to do the same thing. And he made a little short film, I think somewhere in the region of 15, 20 minutes, called Carrigan Wakes. Uh, and it is, it's a really good film and it's still going around doing the festivals at the moment. He hasn't released it online yet, so you know people can't get to see it. You know, it's as simple as that. Uh, but I, I know he'll release it uh, when he's got, you know, when he feels it's the right mood or, you know, the right time. Um, so yeah, that'd be, quite cool for a lot of people to say. Um, and that moves us forward to this year. When Nick and I contacted uh, me and Richard and Emma uh, and Martin uh, and he decided that he wanted us to uh, get involved in um, something called the isolation horrors and the bloody mask. Um, he, r he ran through a rough idea of what he wanted from each of the filmmakers. Uh, and was telling us how he was going to make a little anthology and string it along together. And subsequently, I thought he pulled off a great, great film, really great. I think the results speak for themselves. I think the uh, reviews coming in uh, give a good indication um, that we're all on the right track and we're all going in the right direction. So me making this little video tonight was just to say and, ho and hope that, you know, albeit a small little filmmaker and, and you know, humble as well, um, I thought I'd just like to make a little video saying that whoever you are and whatever is running through your mind or whatever you're thinking, whether it's going to cost, um, just, just give it a go. Just get out there and, you know, get your camera rolling and, and take some films. Uh, and try and retain uh, the thought on on quality as well. You know, try and try your best. Um, and if you can't, if you don't think that what you've taken first first time round is good, then you know, keep keep trying. You know, just keep keep at it. And you know, um, you know, what more can I say? Um, thanks for looking at this. Um, it may be totally boring. I don't know, but uh, but I thought I'd give it a go. And uh, I just want to push out the positive vibes and, and get people to be inspired and, and do something. So hopefully this video will make people do that. Cheers.